What is up, YouTube? And today we're going to be talking all about the new collab unit with the Overlord collab, and that is Albedo and how you guys want to build her and how strong she can be. Now, this unit is pretty weak, I'd say, in terms of raw power compared to other units, but that doesn't make her unplayable. Now, she has pretty decent skills, like her S3 is pretty similar to Asteria's S3, except it does more damage, and you can actually reduce the skill cooldown by using the Soul Burn, and it's only 10 souls, which is very nice. If you land this on a tanky unit, your damage dealers can pretty much one-shot them pretty easily. And even Albedo herself does a ton of damage if you build her correctly, so you can see that she will be able to finish off the enemies if this lands. Next we have her S2, it's a very nice ability. Basically it just gives your team mitigation from critical hits. And you'll also see when an ally except for the caster gets crit, you will counterattack with Let's Go Bicorn. And this is an AoE attack that will dispel one buff and also give her a speed buff and also scale with her max HP in terms of damage. Next we have her S1, just a single target attack that will see our pusher, and then also you'll see that this attack will also do additional damage with her max health and also another um, you know, after effect damage, so it'll proc twice. Pretty strong unit in terms of damage, but outside of that she's not really that great, she doesn't really provide too much utility besides this uh, damage mitigation, uh, but honestly if you're gonna pick her for damage mitigation, you might as well pick any other knight that can actually support her team. She's more of an aggressive knight as you'll see. And because of that, I have her on a destruction set build. This is not really the meta build I'd say, but I think it's actually probably her best. And that is because she actually does a ton of damage with her abilities because they all scale with max HP. And honestly, also because of her artifact, which will actually make her do more damage with uh, health. And this will work for AoE abilities, so with her S2, if this crits, this actually does a ton of damage, so you're going to see that this is pretty nice. And honestly, most people kind of think that you should stack her on health because she all scales with max HP. But if you want extra damage, you actually need her on high crit damage, right? Her health scaling is good, but it's not the best. So because of that, you definitely want more crit damage than crit chance. And you're going to see this is the build that I have actually cooked up. Actually, not me, but I kind of copied it, which is a crit damage albedo. It is very, very strong. I think for PvP, this is definitely the best build, especially if you want to surprise enemies because her damage is actually insane when you have her on this build. If you guys are actually curious about what her damage can be like, I have a video on my channel which actually showcases her on this build, if you guys want to check that out. It does pretty insane damage with all of her abilities. Now, if you want to run her on more of a standard tank build to you know mitigate damage and also apply those defense breaks while doing some okay damage, not the best, then you can run her on this build where you have full health uh, about 200 speed and then you know almost 100% effect resist and she's pretty good and she will be a good mitigator for your team but honestly I think the left side build that I have on it is the best way to play her it makes her a lot more powerful in guild wars it makes her a lot more powerful in RTA because if you just play the slow game with Albedo it feels like she just gets out scaled I'd say or at least like she's less useful than other knights out there who mitigate way more damage have like a built-in stun and stuff like that um, so because of that, I think Albedo wants to kind of win kind of quickly. So because of that, you know, I have her on this destruction build and I think it's pretty fun. Now when you're playing Albedo, if you have her on this build, you can actually use her as pretty much your sole damage dealer if the enemy isn't too tanky. If they are very tanky, you obviously want another damage dealer with her uh, to pair with her. Uh, but the best units you can pair with her are going to be support units, right? Something like a Last Rider Crow, you know, Unbound Knight Arrowell or Crimson Armin are very nice because they can support her. Also, she doesn't have any sustain, so any Soul Weavers with built-in sustain, like Destina if you have her, Ocean Breeze Luka even, are pretty nice for her as well. And if you have a unit such as Laia, she's also very good because she can reduce the skill cooldowns of um, Albedo's S3, which is very nice, and also her S2. And most of her damage will actually come from this S2, so you definitely want to make sure you actually you know, can get this off cooldown as fast as you can. Now for units you want to avoid, you really want to avoid Navy Captain Landy because uh, you need to crit to win with her because she's all crit damage on that build. So Navy Captain Landy kind of shuts her down with her passive, not only for herself, but for her entire team. Also a unit like Last Rider Crow is pretty good against her because she, she can, or he gets that barrier up when she does that counterattack. Another good unit would be something such as like Lionheart Sermia because of her S2 proccing and even Lone Crescent Bologna who will end up almost one-shotting her. And you just want to make sure when you play her, you're not picking her into a full tank team. That's probably your biggest weakness. If you play her against squishier units, she can do very well. On this build, she's very good as anti-cleave because uh, her S2 will you know cripple the entire enemy side and they just kind of just fall over after, after any attack after that. So very good against anti-cleave and squish units. Pretty bad against tank units on this build. 
even if you have her on the tank build, I feel like it's the same thing. You kind of want to just play her into squishier units because, like I said, she gets outvalued by other knights anyway, so there's not really a point to pick her. But besides that, she's pretty good. But yeah, this is the build I have her on. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys have your albedo on in terms of builds. And also, you know, let me know what you guys think should be done to buff her. I think she is a pretty weak unit compared to other units. And I think what she actually needs is something else in her S1 for sure. Maybe like a provoke would be very nice because she actually um, does take less damage from crits as well. And that way you can actually stack her on health and kind of be useful. Also, I think maybe her S3, if it, you know, did something else besides this. Although it's pretty cool, I think they should get reworked. You know, this is just Asaria's S3. Although it's nice, I think, you know, a stun would be way better or something like that. Um, and she'd be actually more playable. But I think for how she is right now, seems pretty weak. She's pretty much just a damage dealer in a knight that doesn't really do anything but damage. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think should be done to help her out. I do think Smilegate will buff both of these units eventually before their banner runs out because a lot of people are complaining. But I'm just curious what you guys think. We're going to test her out into this team. She is the only damage dealer on my side, but she does have some sustain with her, so she should be okay. The right side of the team doesn't have, you know, too many tanky units, honestly, so we should be fine. Actually, they are pretty tanky, but I think Albedo can still pull it off here. We'll do that. And then I'm going to try to bring my Albedo. It doesn't work. Counterattack, always nice. I get to get pushed up. And then here, I think I just S3 the Angel of Light. I don't really care about Rem getting her demon form, because my team is almost all Earth, right? This should hurt a lot. No defense break, but it's fine. Another counter attack. She's actually helping me. And if I bring Albedo, she's dead. Oh. Boom. Yeah. So, pretty much a damage dealer, right? Now, of course, she will get revived here, I believe. So I'm gonna hold on to my S2. This is gonna revive the Angel of Light. However, she will just die the next turn, so. We'll do that. I'm going to hit the Rem so I don't get countered. As you can see, the damage is pretty good. It's ramping up. And then I can push my team up, reduce their cooldowns, and get rid of the buffs. And I think my S3 is up again, right? So yeah, you can see Lya is very good with her. Soul burn this as well. It's only 10 souls. I don't know if this will kill, but it should be very close. Well, maybe not because of the life steal here. Yeah, that would have killed without the wife steal, I think. Don't be nervous, the Odyssey of your life. Let's have our ML Politis dance again. Give us those OP buffs. Step back. Get some healing up Generous here. Rekos. Please protect us. And I think my S3 is up right on my Laya. Uh, it is, but I will just S1. I want to S3 the Oh, and Cecilia. Oh, and now she's dead. In the blink of an eye. Boom. Oh, and then like we do you. this. Find them. Just break me for real. Sorry. Oh, shall we? Wow, that's not kill. Does die through the Aureus. So you get to revive off, and you should die here to the next one. Alright, this should kill. This is gonna do a ton. Yeah. And that is pretty much Albedo. The damage is pretty solid. Honestly, kinda coping because she still is pretty weak. But I think on this build, you'll find the most success.